Hi, I'm TC, and I want to actually talk to you today, if you're listening, in this moment of presence, about the idea of being relatable. Like, how are we given the idea and stature to provide ourselves some sort of platform to present information in any ways possible, and in the ways that we actually, like, witness whatever it is, like a, a movie, a vehicle of movement, of information, in which it's portrayed by characters, relatability, of how you are to them, as well as the scenario of being vicarious of the whole, I guess, experience being witnessed before you. So if we're looking at relatability, I actually find that when people seek a nice, comfortable relationship, I say, with an individual, it's because they find them relatable or they are interested in something in that aspect. So not everyone has to portray some sort of dialed up version of themselves, but at the same time too, most people play off a quirk or in the end wear a mask or persona that ultimately ends up engaging in a very inauthentic way of expressing oneself. So many people strive to be relatable, but then they lose themselves along the way. So it's actually a confusing aspect for many that actually deal with it because they don't process many of the information of what their emotional selves are going through or that they engage in more of a game where they kind of give in to the lowest common denominator because without them they probably would not have a platform that they perceive to be substantial. So if they actually challenge to be something of an individual of themselves, they can be beyond that. So in terms of relatability, people want like consistency, they want patterns, they want to be able to know that the next day they'll have something pretty close to that or that hits a message that kind of is relative to a home front. So without that, people feel like, oh, okay, why would they want to tune in? In my case, I understand that I'm not trying to create some sort of channel that really says, oh, yeah, this is like the gardening channel. You get all this and that and this, which is awesome. I think that actually is a great presentation of things, and maybe it's best to divide things up. And I think I actually cover a large spectrum of things that puts that in a non-relatable fashion. And when I express things, I mean... I think every single individual is different. For example, I can process things in ways that people don't even, I guess, perceive of because I perceive more of the imaginative state in which we can see like more of a 3D perspective, take something, spin it around. Or if it's the processing of being able to digest information, apply it at a quicker rate. There's a lot of information which many different, I say many different people would actually take on their own standards. It's not even the standards that we set for ourselves. I think many of us have our own apparent nature and that nature is expressed in whatever we are kind of portrayed to consist of. I think we get a deeper vibe into that if we look into astrology, but I think when we understand the individual and the self and how do we bring that authenticity forward, we actually want to honor a nature. So if you want to go into the forest and actually say, hey, that tree does not look like it should be here. I think you're kind of skewing the whole concept of what uh, an ecosystem, a natural flow, the whole balance. Like when people try to co-create or creation itself tries to co-create in terms of an ecosystem, harmony, whatever you want to perceive. Many of us are always like taken into a place where if something's taken out of balance, then that concept of creation itself would not actually matter. And when if not matter, if not by one party or both parties, then the potential of that weakens in terms of it being able to come to life. Many of us, if it's an idea that's worthwhile, might be picked up by somebody who is capable of those things, but many of us are put into a situation where if we have a unique calling or divine aspect of why we do what we do, or it, maybe it's the way that we perceive or interact with reality, that might be something that holds us in a position of responsibility. So many of us try to deliver that on their own rights, and that's why maybe more visions, concepts, or ideas, concepts that are more beyond the individual, but still substantial enough to express onto a world stage, or however we want to express it out, even to share into conversation with those we connect with, or the communication on a larger scale. It doesn't matter in my case, because this is more of an expression that I feel like if it's said once, then the ideas and concepts permitted almost have a fractal root as I see this more of a collective goal occurring in most individuals. And it's something that like these individuals don't know one another. So when you see and set a pattern, you start to see that we look for these things, but at the same time too, an individual's experience is one's own. How they want to express about that and the framing of all that, I see that like most people fall into a trend itself. That's what makes the trend itself of a collective magnetism. 
So when people become relatable, they want to relate to something that they are familiar by or whether they can see themselves in that, whether that is taken more of a humorous and or something that most people want to take a very passionate stance on, whether they want to give their emotional availability towards or they actually want to try to permit themselves to be behind and allow it to almost even dictate the way that they express themselves because it says it for them. And that's the lack of understanding the oneself. In terms of how we actually want to portray that, we want to find a balance before we see that one way is the best way because it's each one's own. There is experience and experience speaks more than anything else as many of us could find a multitudes of way, a thor of options in which doorways can be open and realizations can be met with bridges. And if we try to cross those bridges, we end up in a new perspective of who we are and where we stand. When we consider that at the option of what do we do from that point forward, that's going to give us the relatability of, hey, this is the authenticity of self. So when we want to see relatability in the real world going forward, I think many of us need to actually perceive what can that be? Because we want to see authenticity portrayed in a way that is unique on the platform of everything that can be. So if that's not being put forward and that challenge is for right, then what relatability is offering in a stance of information, dialect, concept, even the idea itself can be picked up. For example, if it's not my stance to say something, but the stance itself can permit the other individual to take action, then maybe there and then that cause, that motion in the collective flow is providing a vehicle for information to be accessed, taken, identified, processed, and then put forth even refined to a better statement. And that is actually what we were all doing as a human factor because we provide a wild card. If, if not for the action that came before, then how can a present forward become a future? And in that action that we present, then that philosophical point of view should be considered at everyone's birth rate. If it's the action and the free will that is dividing and at the same time collecting each of our own experiences, then we need to come to terms to create the relationship that is better, um, not better, but more better in relationship to our own right. If we want to see and perceive our own self or the relationship we have to the world, we need to see and access ourselves from a secondary perspective, maybe even more of a third party perspective. Because in this case, when you have no attachment to the idea, then you can assess it a little more better from a distance. But maybe that bigger picture outlook might actually take away some of the more personal and intimate aspects that make that so unique in its own right. So you gotta find a balance because if taking one or the other approach, we lose aspect of the bigger picture. And if you take that fractal statement and then apply it to where it fits in your own life, then you're gonna find that relatability is actually the constructs of our own making. Because if it's not for our sake to create the connections, then the connections that are formed and the reactions that are set forth after that are at the ease of what we allow rather than what we permit. So if that's something that you understand and that's something that's deeper to connect to, I say understandably, then hey, go for it. Otherwise, hey, continue on your path. And if you're here, I appreciate it. So stay true. And until the next message, enjoy.